Signing players in a road to glory is difficult because people don't want to be transferred. They don't think your league is prestigious enough. So you have to really take in consideration where you sign them from. So one of the biggest things I look for is like certain particular attributes, certain ratings, certain teams that they actually play for. So what I'm going to actually bring for you guys today is players which are perfect for a road to glory that you can actually loan into your side. You can check one of my videos recently, which I spoke about the best players to actually sign for a road to glory. Let's get into that first player. Okay, guys, so the first player we're going to be looking at is Ellis Sims. Ellis Sims plays for Everton and surprisingly actually happy enough to go on loan to a League 2 side. A lot of the Premier League sides don't allow this, but Ellis Sims is English. He starts off at 63 radio with potential of 81. One of the most brilliant strikers I've actually signed in this game. He's going to cost you 800k to actually begin with, but the problem is, is that when you actually get that money as a road to glory... I it, he starts to go up and up and up in price, which is really difficult then to actually bring him in. But brilliant player. Coming next, guys, we do have Bruno Fuchs, which is a Brazilian center back, 72 rate of potential of 83. Playing for CSK Moscow, uh, he is a sub for them. So one of the biggest standout stats for him is, of course, that defending on the front of it. When I'm actually looking for players to actually loan in in like a lead to a road to glory, I don't want them to be overrated him because a lot of the time they won't come. But 72 is like that cuff of where you have a really good player, which is more likely going to come to your side. Brilliant player. Charisma was such a weird one for me. Honestly, it was... I don't know what to put it. When I first signed him last year in FIFA 920, I didn't think he was actually that good. But then all of a sudden, FIFA 21, he's proper up this game. He's a really good defender. But personally, I would only loan them in. Like, when I start getting to, like, the Championship, Premier League, he doesn't go that good. But in a League 2 situation... Loan him in for a season or two, he definitely gets you across the line. Ivari Van Herseren, right, a player which I thought was originally one of the most brilliant central type midfielders in this game, but he actually isn't. He's good for a season or two, and then all of a sudden you're like, ugh, it's not that good. But Yari is a really good player to actually bring in and just get you over that step and so on without a doubt. But the only issue I've actually had with him is that thing of where he just doesn't develop quick enough. So as a loan, he's absolutely perfect. He puts you up on the map. He puts you further up the league where you want him to be. But then you've got that opportunity to actually buy other players in. Mohamed Jarama, Drami, who is a Danish right midfielder, right? He plays for Copenhagen, which is a brilliant player. Fast. He's very uh, skillful with four-star skills, which is absolutely brilliant. So really good player to actually loan in. There is a part of me which is debating whether to actually sign him. But when you wrote to glory, you just can't afford him. He's cost around £2 million. So you don't take, I wouldn't personally fork out all my money on one player in a wrote to glory. So that's why I recommend loaning. Avrin Appa, who is an English left midfielder, right? Playing for UD Amaria who is a Spanish side, a brilliant left midfielder, really fast, hasn't got the skill moves, but really got the pace on his side. Along with this player, actually, there was another player which I thought could have been really good, but I ruled him out because he was, this guy is insane. But a really good player to bring in down that left-hand side, to loan in, get you over to the next level when you're actually in that road to glory. Maida, who is an Irish six foot three, I repeat, six foot three striker, Starting off a 65 radio with a potential of 83. Great thing with this guy as well, which kind of makes the loan thing even better, is the fact that he, he's already up for loan, which is brilliant. He's a brilliant uh, striker, really good at finishing, really tall. So he's got a little bit of pace as well, which you don't really find in tall players over six foot. But he got around 75 pace to begin with. So for like a lead two side, that's absolutely brilliant. And they guys were some of the best loan players that you can bring in for a road to glory. Some of them I found absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I would highly recommend just bringing these in to kind of strengthen up your side for a good season or so. Just one of the reasons behind a lot of these players is that when I actually have them, basically what's happened is I've signed them and I've gone, oh, they're not that good after a season or two. But then I've gone, right, okay, let's try and loan them in. So we loan them in and we go, right, okay, he's good for that season or two still. But there's no need to have him after that. So this is what I'm kind of looking at with a couple of these players. Some really good options from defenders to strikers. Personally, you would have seen not seen a goalkeeper in it. I highly recommend not loaning in a goalkeeper. Just save your money and actually sign one, if I'm truthfully honest. I might be have to put like a low-rate goalkeeper and let that potential rise. And like actually loaning one in and thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to sign a new one in two years. So, but anyway, guys, my name is Galazio. I want to say super thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. It's been at the amazing on the channel. I really 
does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. But anyway, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Check Bye -bye. it out.